the DS2 double check valve and stoplight switch. We learned in part two that vehicles are equipped with dual brake systems, a protected braking circuit for the front axle brakes and a separate circuit for the rear. Since there is only one service line leading to the trailer, one or the other of the two braking circuits must be chosen to apply the trailer brakes. And, of course, the stoplights must be lighted regardless of which is chosen. That's the function of the DS2. It's a combination of two valves. The SL5 stoplight switch from part two and the double check valve from part three. Like a standard double check valve, the DS2 has two inlet ports and one outlet port. The stoplight switch is positioned in the middle of the double check valve opposite the single outlet port. A shuttle riding in a guide travels between the two inlets. Lines from the front and rear axle brake circuits connect to the inlet ports on opposite sides of the DS2. The outlet is normally mounted to the tractor service port of the TP3 tractor protection valve. During normal operation, brake application air from both brake circuits enters the DS2 inlet ports. Since the rear axle brake circuit pressure is slightly higher, the shuttle will move to close the front circuit side. At the same time, moving the stoplight piston to light the brake lights. Rear axle application air flows to the outlet port, then through the TP3 and on to apply the trailer brakes. If one brake circuit on the tractor loses air pressure, brake applications from the remaining circuit would still flow through the DS2 to apply the trailer brakes and light the stoplights. Before going on to the trailer brake system, there is one accessory that should be considered. The BPR1 Bobtail Proportioning Relay Valve. The BPR1 combines a relay valve with a proportioning valve. It was designed for use in tractor brake systems only and replaces the standard R12 service relay presented in part two. The BPR1 improves control and reduces stopping distances by proportioning brake applications to the lighter rear axle brakes during bobtail tractor operation. The BPR1 body contains a standard service brake relay valve, while the cover houses the proportioning valve. There are four delivery ports, two supply ports, one control port for the relay valve, and another for the proportioning valve. All air connections are identified with cast-in letters. With the exception of the additional proportioning valve control port, the BPR1 air connections are exactly the same as the R12 relay it replaces. This port is connected to the air line running between the PP7 trailer supply valve and TP3 tractor protection valve. During tractor trailer operation, the PP7 delivers air pressure to the trailer and to the control port of the BPR1. So long as control port air pressure is present, the BPR1 functions as a standard service relay valve and delivers full braking pressure to the tractor's rear service chambers. When the PP7 trailer supply valve is pulled, the trailer supply line is exhausted pressure is removed from the BPR1 control port, signaling that the tractor is now in bobtail operation. With the weight of the trailer removed, the tractor rear brakes are overpowered. In bobtail operation, the front brakes are capable of doing more to stop the vehicle than the rear brakes. They can use a much higher application pressure than the rear brakes. When the driver makes an application strong enough to take advantage of the stopping power of the front brakes, the rears skid and vehicle stability is diminished. 
The BPR1 compensates for this by reducing application pressure to the rear brakes only and permits the driver to apply the foot valve in a normal manner. This takes full advantage of the front brakes without locking the rears. Vehicle stopping distances and stability are improved. Here's an important tip. Only vented dummy hose couplings can be used with a BPR1 and the vent must be open. With the addition of the BPR1, the basic tractor system is complete.